What do you see as the future in the drugs that you're probably on the verge of developing or part of the, the development? What we're trying to do is to take advantage of what we now know from, from these protein structures to see if we can make drugs that are more effective uh, with, with fewer side effects. More targeted. More targeted, yes. And, uh, and, and I think that you know, we, we, we are, we're not close to having anything in the clinic, uh, but we are beginning to at least develop the methods uh, and approaches that we, we hope will be used in the future and, and make drug discovery both perhaps less expensive more efficient, and then hopefully the drugs will be um, more selective and with fewer side effects. It's a, it's a hope, it's not a, there's no promise, but that's what we're working towards. So, receiving the Nobel Prize, I mean, when you got that phone call, I imagine in the middle of the night, as they say, from those Swedes, you know, I bet that was a great moment. Tell us a bit, a bit about that. Yeah, that was, that was a moment I'll never forget. Uh, well, the, the phone call came at 2.30 in the morning, and uh, we just, let it ring and didn't answer it because, <laughs> and, you know, who's going to answer a phone call at 2.30 in the morning? Um, but they called back about uh, three minutes later and we figured you have to answer it. And it was the, the secretary for the Nobel Committee on Chemistry and then each of the, mem each of the member, uh, committee members gets on and congratulates you. And I don't think I could talk. I think I was really choked up. Yeah. Um, and then within about a half hour, the phone starts ringing nonstop. And uh, uh, Stanford, uh, the press group at Stanford comes to the house and, and helps you field interviews that you get from all over the world. Yeah. And it's just a crazy, crazy morning. That's, I'm sure, feels good and it's a reward and Stanford feels good about it. And you've got a job that's a little more solid and your lab has some financial support. Is there a downside? Yes. There's <laughs> Uh, it, it's clearly the, the, the benefits outweigh the downside, but um, it's, very, it's a very disruptive experience uh, because you get, I mean, I'm not used to getting, having a lot of attention um, and like it that way. Uh, uh, you immediately get more emails than you can deal with, and I still haven't been able to keep up with emails. Um, you get asked to, you know, to go a lot of places, give talks. So you're traveling, unless you learn to say no, the travel schedule becomes uh, really crazy. And then you're stuck having to do interviews with yep. plain yeah. small town doctors from Brookings, South Dakota. Yes, so, so I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't say no to Brookings, South Dakota. Well, that's great. And the reason is you're from Little Falls. I'm, I'm from small town and I, you know, I went to a small university and, and I, uh, I would have been really happy if someone had come to uh, UMD and, and given a talk.